look at this sweet morning sign. Hello, ballerina. We're in this together. I'm kind of nervous. It's not like the nervous that's like, oh, I'm nervous because I don't have that much experience with ballet. It's that like first day feeling. Yeah, I know what you mean. So our town actually put in this building. It's called the Excel building about a year ago, I think. And they do such cool programs here for the kids. And I'm totally that mom dropping my kid off with bedhead. But I'm going to the gym after this. So I'm not going to fix my hair. The smell of this building reminds me of when I used to do like <laughs> drill team camp and flag camp. It just smells like a summer camp. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Tell the viewers what she just said. She said we can have breakfast here. Every day. So do you want to come have breakfast here tomorrow? You can go check it out if you want. Hey, friend. So we're just going to check out breakfast. She's looking super nervous here. Don't be nervous. I'm super nervous. Let's see what we've got. Look at the little trays. Go check it out. Look how cute that is. Ooh. Do you want one? No, we ate breakfast. We didn't know. We'll do it. Oh, okay. Well, wasn't that cute? I wish I could stay longer, but you're not allowed to. So we'll be back in a few hours to pick her up, and I'm sure she'll tell us all about it and show us everything she learned. We are already having some outside time. The kids were just impatiently waiting for me after bringing Symphony. Here comes a tiny, tiny girl. Who do you have there, Juliet? A potato. Oh, Mr. Potato Head likes that. Juliet has newly found Toy Story, and she loves it. We've watched one, two, and three. Baby bottle. Did he have a drink of water? Yeah. Oh, he's thirsty again. Is your baby potty training? Yeah. Did he go to timeout earlier? Yeah. How come he had to go to timeout? Oh, oh no, no, I got I to change his diaper. So does poop. He pooped in his diaper? Yeah. Ewee. Welcome home, ballerina. How was it? Good. Ooh. What was it like compared to the last class you did? Probably a lot better. A lot better, good. At one part we do that. Uh huh. And then we we do this. What do you guys think? Was everybody surprised? Thank you. Sandy, are you so excited? I'm excited. What is it? I don't know. I've never been here before. So cute! Go, go, past. What? Look at this place. This is so cute. What else do you see? Hey, Cuff and Symphony, look. There's a theater. You go in and dress up. Look, there's capes and masks. You also go put on a play. And we've got the Rockwall Market, Hot Rod Company. Yay! Yay. Let me see. Baby. Ooh, car Curly Boutique. Look, it's a hair salon. Oh, are you gonna go grocery? There's the market in there, the grocery store. Oh, oh this is the house. Mom, do you want some ice cream? Yeah, I do want some ice cream, please. You're at the bakery. What a good little baker. Oh, thank you, I'll take this too. I totally left Sandy to do the, the waivers up there. Sorry, Sandy. What did you find? What is this, Cade Bear? So cool, buddy. I got all these to see. Oh, you got all those to do? Awesome. What do you see? Look at all these little puzzles. Oh, it's a magnet puzzle. Oh, this is kind of cool. What is that? Okay, do it. It's paint? Shopping for? Oh, okay. Wow. You got a lot of groceries, little lady. Look, you go beep. Oh, it beeps it. It's the blue car against the yellow car. Go. Oh, oh wow. Who won? Wow, really cool. Are you guys doing these magnetic ones? Yeah, okay. So, are you guys like racing them to the middle? Yeah, we have to. 
you. Oh, you did. Juliet, look, you dressed the baby up. So here she is. She doesn't have any clothes. She might want a shirt. It goes on her like this. And then she might want some pants. And they go like that. And here's another one. Here's the guy. This guy might want to be dressed up. Oh, four. And look, he can be a cowboy. Fire truck. Fire truck. Very good. Abram, what are you doing over here? I, we looked at this earlier. I didn't realize everything came off. This is awesome. Let's see here. Now what, buddy? You're working hard. someone else's but they sent it here so I can fix it before midnight's over yeah. what happens at midnight at midnight I have to go to sleep and I want to finish it before I have to go to sleep oh okay oh yeah you got to do the tires it looks like you're finally your workers here to help you can I please have a movie theater ticket thank you I'm here to see the movie Oh, get in the seats. Can I get in the seats too? Yeah. Okay. Is this is the movie. Is this is the movie. Maybe. Ma'am. What's up, bud? Oh, thank you so much. I owe you four hundred dollars. You're welcome. You can buy four hundred Hot Wheels with that. Oh, nice. Wow, you really did a great job. Look at this, Abram. You put these on your shoulder and you become attractive. <laughs> <laughs> A cement truck driving the grocery cart? Okay, we're at the hair salon. Kate is gonna do Abram's hair. Look at all those lovely tools. Oh my goodness, Kate. Blow dry your hair, bubby. Wow. Oh, now you're gonna shave his face. Right here, like your daddy does it. Look at Cade. Oh, poor Juliet has a beard. Here, Joel. We gotta come and help. Let's put your baby in your lap. Oh, Juliet. She wants her makeup. There you go. Abram is quite the curling professional. I did not quite realize. Look at this boy. Looking so good, man. Oh, oh thank you. Ow. Oh, man. Do I need to get my head shaved off? I'm getting my hair shaved. Getting your wash now. Thank you, Ava. Now it's blow drying. Oh, Jules, you're pulling it now. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Kate. Sandy, how do I look? I just got a makeover by all three of the kids. Oh, yeah, you look stunning. I got my beard trimmed. <laughs> Lovely. I got a buzz cut. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it look great? Oh, there's a Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's time to vote on the houses from the little magnetic tile. So I had to destroy this like six times. Well, I did, I destroyed it only once or twice, but the rest it was on accident. And the last time I did it, I took it apart and built it right here because it is the baby attractor. Okay. And the light will attract the babies. Okay. And the, oh, oh yeah, and this, this circle right here is the moon ball, and it's really easy to fall, so it's the moon ball of falling. Okay. And in here is like, is like kind of, it's kind of like a spaceship. Okay. Just not exactly. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm a mansion Otopia. Mansion Otopia. It's a mansion. This really rich guy lives inside, and he has his club in here, and this is their sign. And then they go in, and this is their little sign. The doors open, they go in. They can climb up on their patio over here. Or... Wow, there's even a patio? Yeah, and the doors open are over here. And the this patio is a... was my idea. Yeah. Oh, wow. But the balcony was mine. Patio, balcony. And then there's the trees on the outside. Oh, I love the trees. And he got some uh, solar powered stuff because he doesn't want to use his money because he's more rich. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. I'll consider your entry. I'm gonna give the most adorable award to Symphony. I'm gonna give the most functional award here to Cup. I'm also gonna give the Creativity Award to Symphony. And I'm gonna give Cup the award of Innovation. Okay? Sound it's all around? This is a really tricky one because Symphony's is adorable, but Cup seems to be a bit more functional. You've got adorable versus functional. That's why I said you gotta get someone else. I said you can a random. Sandy has a great 
idea. We think you should pick a random person, that, not one of the moms. That's what we're going to do. Okay, go find someone. They have reined in an outside judge. They won't take the other awards. They, like, most creative and most innovative isn't enough. They have to have first and second place. She's like, what are they supposed to be in couples? Um, <laughs> one is first and one is second. That's not what she meant, sweetie. How's it going over here? I got first. She gave you first place? All right. Good job, everybody. Hey guys, back home now. Change of outfit, change of hair, change of smell. <laughs> I went to the gym early this morning with Sandy and then came home. We went back out to the play queue and I can just tell you that after working out and not getting to shower or reapply deodorant or anything, I was a little miserable for the rest of the day. But anyways, back home now and look what I just made. It's a pasta, like a chicken Alfredo type pasta. Taking it with me to GC and we'll see if it turns out good. I looked up a recipe with some ingredients I had around the house, I said, Egg noodles, chicken, cream of chicken soup. And so a recipe popped up for those three things, some milk, some more seasonings and stuff, and then bake it with breadcrumbs and all that. That was actually my touch. So we'll see how it tastes once we get to GC. Hey, do you wanna tell the viewers what you did today so good? Tell the viewers what you did three times today in the potty seat. I go poo poo. How many times? Five times. Three times. Okay. Normally, guys, she has one accident and one success story, like every day. I mean, she's been pooping on the floor and in her swimsuit once a day, and today we've had no poop accidents. She's pooped in the potty three times on her own each time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us for today's awesome vlog and for caring about Juliet's potty training journey. I know some of you do, I know some of you don't. Anyways, we will see you guys tomorrow. We're doing something very, very exciting for the kids. Something that I've never done before and something that I think all of your children and you too because this is a generationally acceptable thing we'll all have fun doing and so you're gonna want to come back and do it with us because we're gonna be showing you how to do something for yourselves that I think you're all gonna want to do oh, over the summer break stay tuned we'll see you there don't forget he loves you and remember to love each other can I please have a movie theater ticket you can't hold when you can't make it on your own i promise you and not alone we're in this together